The first part of this tutorial will show you how to view your inventory and restock inventory levels when you receive supplies. First, in upkeep, go to the Parts and Inventory page. This shows you inventory from all locations. Go to the Filter button next to the search bar. In the filters, find the Location Assigned to You section. When you click on Location, it'll pull up Locations list, then choose your location from the list. Next, click on Apply Filters. And now you'll see inventory only for your location. You can now view all your inventory items as well as quantities. You can select on an item to view more details and to restock this item. When you're inside an item, you can click on the blue plus button to add quantity to that item. Do this whenever you receive a shipment. In the Add Quantity menu, go ahead and choose in the Quantity to Add field how many items you received and then click the Save button to update your quantity. Your item has now been updated. You can go back to your main inventory list and view your items. The next part of this tutorial shows you how to use items from your inventory. This is done through work orders. You will always have an inventory consumable work order assigned to you. Anytime you use a part, please add it to that work order and complete the work order. This sends us a notification the part has been used. In your upkeep menu, go to the work orders page. If you have a large amount of work orders, you can always go to the filters and you can choose to filter by category. There's a category called cleaning, cleaning and consumable inventory. Go to your filters button, go down to categories, select cleaning and consumable inventory category, then click on save, then click apply filters. You should now be able to locate your inventory and consumable work order. Click on that work order, then scroll down in that work order and find the section that says add part. Click on add part, this will load the parts list. Next, make sure you click on your filters again we need to filter by location again to make sure that we only see the parts for your location. To do this in the filters, go to location assigned to and choose your location. After selecting your location, then click apply filters and you'll now see the parts list for your location. Choose the part that you wish to add to the work order you can add multiple parts, then click the Add button. You'll see the part that you chose was added to the work order. Next, scroll back up to the top of the work order and choose Complete to close the work order. Completing the work order will submit this work order and subtract the parts from your inventory. Once you go back to your work orders page and then refresh the page, you'll see Upkeep has automatically created a new copy of your inventory and consumable update. 